Imagine a 94 year old woman hiking to her neighbor's home, not for exercise, but simply because it's part of her daily life. She navigates uneven paths, carries groceries, and tends her garden without a cane, without fear of falling. This is everyday reality in the world's blue zones. These are five remarkable regions scattered across the globe where people live longer than almost anywhere else in the world. And more importantly, they stay healthy and independent for decades beyond the average. In these places, broken hips are rare, mobility is preserved, and aging doesn't mean giving up the activities that you love. So what exactly are blue zones? They're communities that are identified by researchers where the percentage of people that are reaching and thriving beyond age 100 is unusually high. These regions include Okinawa in Japan, Sardinia in Italy, the Nicoya Peninsula in Costa Rica, Ucaria in Greece, and Loma Linda in California. While they're thousands of miles apart, they share certain daily habits, habits that not only support longevity, but also protect bone health naturally. Today, we're gonna uncover what those habits are, why they work, and how you can start applying them no matter where you live. And stick with me because later I'll be sharing a fascinating study showing how one blue zone community experiences hip fractures more than a decade later than the average. Hello my friends, I'm Sarah, a nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition a BoneFit certified fitness instructor, and a 500 hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific for osteoporosis and yoga. I'm on a mission to reduce the number of fractures that happen each year. And I am so glad to have you join me in the journey to better bone health. So here's the thing, when we talk about healthy aging, most people focus on heart health, brain health, or even skin health, but our bones, they often get overlooked until there's a problem. Yet your bones are the foundation for staying active, independent, and living life on your own terms. That's why they're central this, to this conversation because longevity isn't just about the number of years that we live, rather it's about living our years without fractures or experiencing disability of some kind. Which brings us back to the blue zones. Communities where people not only live longer, but move through their 80s, 90s, and beyond with strength, mobility, and confidence. So let's take a closer look at what they're doing right. The first bone building secret from the blue zones is natural movement. In every blue zone, people aren't hitting the gym for high intensity workouts. Instead, movement is woven into their daily life. Things like walking to visit friends, tending gardens, carrying groceries, and even chopping firewood. In Sardinia, for example, shepherds walk miles each day through hilly terrain. In Okinawa, gardening is a daily ritual that involves bending, squatting, and carrying. This kind of consistent, low-impact, weight-bearing activity puts just the right amount of stress on bones stimulating them to stay strong without the injury risks of overtraining. Science backs this up. Weight-bearing movement encourages your bones to remodel and also to maintain density, especially in our hips, our spine, and our legs. And unlike a short burst of exercise a few times a week, these small and repeated movements throughout the day, every day, keep blood flowing, muscles engaged, and bones loaded in different directions. You don't need to move to a blue zone to adopt this habit. You can start by making your life more active in small ways. Try taking a walk for short errands instead of driving. Take the stairs instead of riding the elevator. Add a five minute stretch or strength break every hour or so. So one of my clients who's in her 80s weaves movement seamlessly into her day, just like the people who are living in the blue zones. She begins her mornings with gentle exercises in bed 
and then adds a few more while she's standing in her kitchen preparing breakfast. She walks her dog several times throughout the day, and then additionally, she spends somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes of dedicated time doing strength training with either resistance bands or hand weights or a combination of both. And she gets in a few more kitchen exercises while she's waiting for dinner to cook. Micro movements may not feel like they're much movement in the moment, but over time, they actually add up to a lifetime of stronger bones, just like they do in the blue zones. The second bone building secret from the blue zones is their diet, which is rich in whole minimally processed nutrient dense foods that naturally support strong bones. So across all five blue zones, meals are actually built primarily around plants, especially legumes like beans, lentils, and chickpeas. These foods provide not just plant-based protein, but also magnesium, potassium, and a variety of phytonutrients that help to keep inflammation low and bones healthy. In Nicoya, Costa Rica, black beans are a daily staple. They're often eaten with rice and fresh vegetables. This pairing isn't just delicious, it's smart nutrition. Together, rice and beans form a complete protein, meaning that they provide all nine essential amino acids that your body can't make on its own. These amino acids are the building blocks that your body uses to maintain muscle mass and to build strong, healthy bones. Nicoya also benefits from calcium rich water, which is something most of us don't even think about when we turn on the tap. In this particular region in the world, the natural water supply flows through limestone, which infuses it with high levels of calcium. That means that every glass of water that they drink is delivering a steady dose of calcium, supporting bone density over the course of a lifetime. While most of us focus on calcium from food and supplements, in Nicoya, it's literally in the water, making it effortless to meet a big part of their daily needs. And of course, Nicoya's location near the equator means that there's an abundant supply of sunshine year round, which is critical for producing vitamin D. Vitamin D plays a key role in helping the body to absorb calcium from food and water and maintaining adequate levels that are essential for bone strength and fracture prevention. In Eucaria, Greece, the diet is packed with leafy greens, nuts, seeds, and olive oil, along with small amounts of goat's milk cheese, which provides calcium and vitamin K2. And in Okinawa, Japan, soy foods like tofu and miso are common. These foods are rich in isoflavones, which are natural plant compounds that act as phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens are plant-based substances that can mimic some of the beneficial effects of estrogen in the body. And since estrogen plays a key role in slowing bone breakdown, especially after menopause, isoflavones may help to protect bone density in women as they age and their hormone levels decrease. So research supports these patterns. Diets high in plants, healthy fats, and moderate dairy intake, like the traditional Mediterranean diet, are associated with better bone mineral density and having lower fracture risk. Many of the foods in the blue zones are also rich in polyphenols, which are natural compounds that help to reduce oxidative stress, which can contribute to bone breakdown. The thing is that you can bring these foods into your kitchen without moving across the world. Try swapping out one meat-based meal each week for a hearty bean stew or in summer, a bean salad. Add a handful of leafy greens to your lunch or your dinner. Try adding fermented foods like miso, yogurt, or kefir to support gut health, which plays a key role in calcium absorption in our bodies. In the blue zones, these aren't considered superfoods or special health hacks. They're just simply part of daily life. And over decades, the consistency helps to keep bones strong well into old age. So the third bone building secret from the blue zones might surprise you because it's not about food, supplements, or even exercise. It's about connection. 
In every blue zone, people are deeply woven into a network of family, friends, and community. This isn't just about having a few social events on your calendar. Rather, it's about knowing that you belong, that you're cared for, and that others are there for you through the ups and the downs of life. In Okinawa, Japan, children are placed into lifelong friendship groups. These small circles of friends meet regularly, helping to support each other financially if needed and also to stay connected for decades. In Eucaria, Greece, community life revolves around shared meals, music, and conversation, often stretching late into the night. And in Loma Linda, California, faith-based gatherings provide a strong sense of belonging and shared purpose. So you might be wondering, what does this have to do with bone health? So the connection is actually really powerful. Chronic stress triggers the release of cortisol, which is a stress hormone that in high amounts over long periods can speed up bone breakdown and slow bone formation. When we feel supported and safe, our bodies spend less time in fight or flight mode and they spend more time in our rest and repair mode, which is where most of our bone rebuilding actually happens. In fact, research shows that older adults with strong social support not only have better mental and cardiovascular health, but they also experience slower bone loss over time when this is compared to those who are socially isolated. So one study even found that women with higher levels of perceived social stress saw greater declines in bone mineral density, highlighting just how much our emotional environment shapes our physical health. This is why the nurturing, connected part of our life is so significant in blue zones. People need to feel supported and loved. The sense of peace, security, and confidence doesn't just improve mental health, it ripples through our entire bodies, lowering inflammation, helping to balance our hormones, and improving bone strength. You can bring this into your own life by scheduling regular meetups with friends or family, even if it's just a walk or a shared meal. Take time to join a group with a shared interest that you have. Maybe this is a fitness class, maybe a book club. Maybe it's doing some form of volunteer work. You can also integrate small daily rituals of connection, like sending a note to someone that you care about, a handwritten note, or making a short phone call to a friend or a loved one. In the blue zones, these habits aren't extras. They're just woven into the fabric of daily life. Over time, they create emotional stability and low stress environments that help to keep our bones and the rest of our bodies strong well into old age. So now we've seen three powerful habits that show up again and again in the blue zones, wherever they are in the world. These include daily natural movement, bone-friendly foods, and deep, meaningful connections. These might seem simple, but when they're lived consistently over decades, they create a foundation for aging with strength, mobility, and independence. So there's actual research showing just how big a difference these habits can make for our bone health. In one Blue Zone community right here in the United States, people aren't just staying fracture-free a little bit longer, they're actually experiencing hip fractures more than a decade later than the national average. That's a huge thing. And when fractures do happen in this community, the recovery outcomes are significantly better. So let's take a look at what the study found and why it's so remarkable. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence connecting blue zone habits to bone health comes from a study that was published in the Journal of the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons in 2024. Researchers looked at residents of Loma Linda, California, the only blue zone in the United States, and compared them to a matched group from the general population. They specifically focused on hip fractures which are one of the most serious and life-changing injuries for older adults. Something we want to avoid if possible. So the findings were striking. Hip fractures happened on average 
12 years later in the Loma Linda group at about age 83 compared to 71 in the control group. When a fracture did occur, survival outcomes were significantly better. One year after a hip fracture, mortality in the blue zone group was 12% compared to 24% in the control group. At two years, it was about 20% versus 33% in the control group. The researchers believe that this difference isn't due to any single factor, but to the combination of lifestyle habits that we've just discussed. Regular low impact movement, nutrient rich diets, and strong community support, creating low stress. And in Loma Linda's case, these are faith-based living that encourages healthy choices and purpose-driven lives. This matters because hip fractures can be absolutely devastating, not only because of the injury itself, but because they often trigger a cascade of health declines that we don't want. So if you can delay that risk by more than a decade and improve recovery chances if it does happen, you're dramatically increasing your odds of living independently for a longer period of time. This study is a powerful reminder that the way that we live every single day from our food to our movement and our relationships shapes the resilience of our bones over the course of a lifetime. So what can we learn from the world's healthiest, longest living communities when it comes to bone health? In the blue zone, strong bones aren't built by quick fixes or short-term programs. Instead, they're the result of simple habits that are practiced every single day, often without even thinking about them. We've seen how natural daily movement helps to keep bones loaded and our muscles strong, how nutrient-rich bone-friendly foods provide the building blocks for bone formation, and how deep social connections create lower stress and create the kind of emotional stability that supports our whole body health. And science backs it up. Like the study from Loma Linda showing that hip fractures are delayed by more than a decade and also that better recovery outcomes are there when they do happen. This isn't luck and it's also not genetics alone. It's lifestyle. So you don't actually need to live in Costa Rica or Japan to benefit from these lessons. You can start right where you are by adding a few more natural movements to your day putting more beans and greens on your plate and making time for the people who lift you up. Over time, these small changes can add up to having stronger bones, greater independence, and a longer, healthier life. And I'm gonna put the link to that hip fracture study in the comments if you wanna take a closer look at it. And I would love to hear from you. Which blue zone habit do you wanna start with this week? Let me know in the comments so that we can cheer each other on. And also, if you found this video helpful, please be sure to share it with someone who could use a little inspiration for their bone health journey. Together, we can help to build a world with fewer fractures and more years of strong and vibrant living. And on that note, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.